Hi everybody and welcome back to my <laughs> to my basement. Today I have finally a follow-up for a video I did a couple of weeks ago where I took the Nano HD camera from Beta FPV and I put it inside this Beta 85 Pro 2 drone. And that was cool, but this drone is big and with this size you can put much bigger camera and much better camera. What I was interested about is putting this camera inside a 65 millimeter drone and look how small it is. But the problem I had at the time was this is only 1S drone and this camera needs 5 volts. Here you have 5 volts in the flight controller but it's not enough to power the actual camera right here. So what I had to do was order a nifty little piece of electronics and this is a booster converter. Basically this takes 1S voltage and it puts it into 5 volts. And now I'm curious, will it work? There is only one way to find out. And also another thing before I start. This will be an unofficial Mobula 6 HD because I learned that Happy Model is making their own Mobula 6 HD and probably it will be better than what I'm doing. Let's get started. First thing first is tear down town. Hey! And here we have the flight controller, the camera, and the nifty little voltage converter. And to make it work, we have three pins on this board, voltage in, ground, and voltage out. Ground is shared between the two of them, while voltage in, of course, you input from your LiPo battery, and voltage out, you output your five volts. Also, I'm going to remove the pins so it's flatter and uh, lightweight. And this is a trick I always use. You see there is some space, and we need to pop them out. So what you do is you take something which is springy and you put it there. So when you apply the heat, it will automatically pull it out. Now I have everything connected here. We have the flight controller connected to the 5 volt step up booster connected to the camera. Let's plug in a 1S LiPo battery and see if the camera turns on. and the camera turns on. We can assemble this and try flying it. And now it's time to modify this. I will remove the yellow wire and, uh, from the camera and remove the other two wires from the connector. So I have a free connector I can use without too much stuff dangling from it. And these connectors are easy. You just lift the tabs and the wires should come out. And that's pretty much it. We are ready to reassemble the drone and try the camera. Also, we want to put a piece of it shrink here so it doesn't short out with the drone. It went a little short, but it's fine like that. So I can put it on the back of the drone and have the camera sticking out at the front like this. Should work. There is plenty of space. And I'm using the long screw that come with the uh, Nano HD camera. Take both of the uh, layers of the connector right here. And the nice thing is this camera fits perfect inside here as you can hear. And boom! The Mobula 6 HD is ready. I need to fix the camera. And also putting in the SD card is really easy. <laughs> it's better than the actual original one. And perfect! I just tried it. It works, it binds, it flies, it records and everything. The only thing I need to do is I need to fix this camera. 
It doesn't have jello right now, which is crazy, but I mean, I want to be able to tilt the camera and do everything to it. So it's a complete package and I can go fly it. I made this little piece right here, it's 3D printable, I will put the link down in the description so you can download it. And it mimics, what's up with this focus today? It mimics this piece from BitFPV, but it actually gives you, gives you screw holes to mount it to the Mobula 6 canopy. But I realized <laughs> there is this, this ribbon in the way and I have to cut a bit of the back wall. You can do this. It's really easy. One, two, and then you can just take it. And you see, it comes out. Perfect clearance and it also tilts, which is amazing. And so we have this little drone, which is 28 grams without battery, 34 with this kind of batteries. And I mean, I expected it to be a little less heavy, but still it's kind of remarkable. I had to put uh, some more electronics in it, a mount for the camera so it can swivel and work. This is properly made, you know. Let's fly it and let's see how it goes. And bad news, I blew an ESC on this drone so I cannot fly it. It worked, I recorded some footage without the actual camera mount, but still it was a little bit sideways, but it shows you it worked at least. And the issue I found was I have this connector on the board. Uh, actually, I will zoom in on this. So you can see there is a spot right here, a burn spot. Because this connector was touching on the ESC, on the motor pins, and it shorted them together, so the ESC blew when I went flying. And it didn't happen before because I didn't tighten the screws a lot. Now I tighten the screws and the, you can see that the connector touches the motor pins right there and that's why it shorted out. Sadly, I love the, this, this drone. Still, if you want to do this, I suggest you go and trim the motor wires down a bit so they don't touch it and it should be okay. And I actually managed to change these small components on this board right here, like you cannot even tell I, I swapped them with another board, uh, but still uh, they make a good contact but they don't work, the ESC doesn't turn on anymore, so it's busted and this board is busted now, sadly. And that's all for today. I destroyed yet another good piece of kit. Some days ago the Xiaomi, today this drone's board, this week has not been the greatest for me. So please press F to pay respect and please subscribe and support me, um, look at my other channels and show me some love please because my drones are not showing me enough love I was lucky at least I saved some footage and still my tutorial is good just be careful with the boards touching each other and it will work really good you saw it check the description because I will put the um, the thingiverse link to download the this red mount inside it so you can mount your camera on this and also Stay tuned because uh, um, Epi Model is making their own. I mean, their own. <laughs> Epi Model is making the official Mobula 6 HD and it should be more powerful and lighter than what I was able to make here. So, as always, stay safe and happy flying and wish me luck because I'm destroying everything. Bye!